proof of concept in IT. Now let's take a look at the role of a proof of concept POC in the app development process. As Wikipedia nicely puts it, a POC is a realization of a certain method or idea in order to demonstrate its feasibility. A proof of concept is usually small and may or may not be complete. In other words, it's a way of testing whether the idea you've had is actually going to work. Let's imagine you have an idea for an app, service or feature, but you're not sure whether it's even possible to achieve from a technical standpoint. You ask your developer if it can be done, but they are not sure either. Or they know that it's possible, but aren't sure about its stability, scalability, or the impact of a dozen other considerations which might affect it. The next step is for them to create a very minimal functioning prototype which demonstrates the feasibility of the proposed technology. That might sound a little vague to you. Remember, POC by its very definition deals with unusual, previously unencountered situations. That's why when the need for POC arises, it's different every time. The bigger picture. To put it into context, we're moving on from the design phase into the actual development phase. Everything up to this point, the mockups, wireframes, idea design, demo app, all of that is primarily to show and develop the concept of the project. When they are all done, you have a solid plan for where you are headed. A POC, on the other hand, is the first step of the actual technical implementation of that idea. It demonstrates that the project can be done and therefore sits in between the design phase and the main development phase, but also creates a starting point for the development of the project as a whole, assuming it works. POC case study. By way of example, let's take a look at one of the POCs that we did last year. It was for a potential medical app whose idea was to give users notifications and warnings about their heart condition. For it to work, it required a special device to be worn by the patient at all times, monitoring their heart rate and immediately transmitting that data to their smartphone. First off, we did some research to try and find whether there were any easily accessible tutorials or guides from other developers who have dealt with this problem one or a similar one before. Finding nothing directly applicable was then examined the market to look for other apps with a similar functionality. In this case, there were a couple of other apps with similar elements, which we were then able to download and study, but nothing out there did exactly what we needed to do. At this point, we needed to take what we'd learned and see if we could achieve the desired result in the form of a prototype app. It would have none of the flair, UX, or additional features of the final product. It would just attempt to achieve the technical elements we were still in doubts about. As it turned out, we were able to prove this proof of concept. That is, we successfully created a prototype which achieved the desired effects. As well as providing the viability of the app's concept, creating the prototype also revealed a number of potential pitfalls and weaknesses to be avoided during the main development of the app. On the basis of this R&D, we were then able to create a more accurate project estimate and move on to the development phase. When do you need a proof of concept? Most of the time you only need a POC when you or your developer are not sure whether the technical result you want is achievable. This might be because you are trying to do something completely original and new, or it might be because you are trying to create a streamlined, cheaper version of something done elsewhere with more investment. Whatever the reason for your doubt, the proof of concept will lay it to rest one way or another. Either it will become clear that your product is viable, or it will be time to go back to the drawing board. You don't always need a POC. In fact, the majority of the apps and projects we work on don't require them at all. In most cases, the technological concepts required for an app are familiar, tried and tested. When working with a proven idea, no POC is needed. There are plenty of fringe cases, though, where the client has wanted to create an original twist uh, on an otherwise proven feature or even achieve something completely new. 
In these more rare scenarios where there is uncertainty about how or whether the idea will work, we might well need to invest some time and manpower into doing this sort of research before being able to give an accurate estimate for the project as a whole. If your developer advises that a proof of concept will be needed before going further with the project estimate, this is a great sign that your project is breaking new ground. How long it will take and how much it will cost will depend on the idea you've come up with, but however much it is, it's far more cost effective to make a prototype than to dive straight into development and only then find out that the idea is not possible or much more complicated than anticipated. Thanks for listening. I hope it helps you.